G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to continue looking at algebra, the basics of algebra, and we're going to be having a look at how to expand uh, factors that are inside brackets, inside and outside brackets. So I'll give you an example here, and I'll get a little bit more complex um, as we go along. But say we had, say, something like this. So I had a rectangle, and I'll write up an algebraic expression, and then we'll expand it. So say we had this particular rectangle here, and it looked like this. It had a length of 4, and it had a width of x plus 2. Okay, now, as we had a look at in previous videos, we could actually write an algebraic expression with this here, because the way we would do this, and if you're unsure of these, check out a couple of the earlier videos we made looking at algebra with these, by the way, okay? Um, now, the way that we could write an algebraic expression here is as follows. Uh, well, the area, say we wanted to do one for the area here. The area is equal to, okay, the length times the width, yeah? The area of a rectangle is the length times the width, which is equal to the length, which is 4 here, times x plus 2. And this is where we can actually write this. Um, if you remember, we don't need to write it as 4 times x plus 2. We can actually just write 4x plus 2 like this. So with this now, we can actually go through... This is uh, actually said to be, so far, in a factorised form. Okay, uh, We have two factors here. We have 4 and we have x plus 2, but it's said to be in a factorised form. But we can actually... Um, expand these particular brackets according to this thing called the distributive law but um, I'll show you how to do this now as far as this goes we've got two particular types of expressions here um, and the way we do this is we multiply basically each term in the brackets here this x here and this 2 here by this first factor here this 4 okay so both of these the x is being multiplied by the 4 here and in addition the 2 here is being multiplied by the 4 here and this is the way we expand these things. Okay, so we start off here, 4 times x is 4x, and positive 2 times 4 is positive 8. So we have successfully expanded these brackets out. Okay, so what about we are, we go through and now we actually, um, we take it to the next step, and we'll do a few of these as examples, okay? They're fairly fairly basic, okay? So what about I'll get you to expand a bunch of these just to get used to doing these. Okay, so what about we do, uh, say this one here, 6x plus 1. So I want you to expand this. So we're going to multiply this one by this one, and we're going to multiply this term by this term. Okay, so let's do this. 6 times x, we get 6x, and 6 times positive 1, we get positive 6. Okay, we get 6x plus 6. Okay, how'd you go with that? Pretty good? Alright, what about we do uh, a bit more of a... Oh, actually, I'll start with a an, another sort of simple example, then we'll get into some harder ones. So we do this sort of thing where we go uh, 3 x and then we're going to go x oh, actually I won't do x yet I'll do a I'll, I'll just do a simple one to start off. we'll do 3 x take away 4 okay okay so we'll do this sort of one again you can sort of see where we're going to head though with this I bet now we're going to go 3 times x is 3 x and 3 times minus 4 because the whole bit here is minus 4 is minus 12. And that's a bit of a trick here. Make sure you pay attention to the number here. We have three numbers, so to speak. Uh, one of them's a pronoun, I know, but we have three, we have x, and we also have minus 4. Okay, these two numbers here are positive, but we have a minus 4 here. So just make sure you pay attention to that when you're doing these. How'd you go with that one? Anyway, we'll go to a harder example now. Well, it's not much harder. In fact, it's not really that much harder at all. Um, it's just it's just a different sort of example. So what about if we had, say, something like this, x on the outside of the brackets here, we had x and x plus 4. 
and we want it to expand these. So it's the same sort of process. It's this number, or this factor times this factor, this part by this part. X times X is X squared, and X times positive 4 is positive 4X. Okay, did you get that? It's not much different really, is it? So I'll get another example like this. Uh, we do say something like, okay, I'll go a harder one here. What about we go minus x, okay? Minus x, and in brackets I'll have x take away 9. Okay, that's a bit of a more difficult one. But it's exactly the same process, yeah? Minus x times x. Okay, this is a bit of a hard one. What do you give you get minus x times x? You might even, if you get stuck on these occasionally, just substitute quickly a value in your head what's like minus 3 times 3 and it's like minus 9 but so we're going to end up with a minus x squared okay so minus x squared and then minus x times minus 9 well a minus times a minus is a positive so we're going to end up with a positive answer so x times 9 is 9x just be wary of these. If you make a mistake, don't get too despondent with this, okay? Just work out where you made the mistake and try not to make that mistake again, okay? But I think everybody makes mistakes when they're doing these, especially at the start. Okay, so what about we uh, now go a couple of further sort of ones. I'll, I'll make a couple of ones that are a fair bit harder here, okay? So say I'm going to give you ones that are, what about this one? 5x plus 2, but on top of this what I'm going to do is at the end of this expression I'm going to write minus 2x. Okay, how would you go expanding this? And then simplifying it, okay? So, first off let's expand this. So we're going to go 5 times x is 5x. 5 times positive 2 is positive 10. And then we have this expression here, this minus 2x. We'll just write that down. So this is what we've got so far. We can actually take this a step further because we have some like terms here. This 5x and this minus 2x. So let's group these together. 5x minus 2x is 3x. And we have this positive 10. Okay, so it's a, it's a bit of an extra step in there now. What about a couple more of those? Uh, okay, Oop. that's better. So uh, rub those out, and a couple more examples here. Uh, I'll go a bit of a harder one. What about I do? Oh, what about a nice difficult one? Two D. Let's get away from the x's for the minute. We go two D, and I'm going to put a C. Uh, take away three D. Uh, plus. 5f minus 6. Okay, <laughs> how are you going to go with that? Hey, it looks pretty difficult. Uh, let's give it a go. Now first off we're going to multiply these guys together, then we're going to multiply these guys together, then we're going to multiply these guys together, then we're going to multiply these guys together. So let's do this. Uh, okay, so first off we have 2d times c, so we're going to end up with, and look, uh, this is a little thing I would like to do, I like to keep everything in alphabetical order, so I'm going to write these in alphabetical order too, okay, as I write my expressions. We're going to end up with 2cd, not that it matters, if you write 2dc, it's, it's equally as correct. Okay, so the next expression we have, we're going to be having a look at these guys, 3d, uh, minus 3d times 2d. So minus 3t times 2d is, yeah, 2 times 3 is 6, minus, actually it's 2 times minus 3, so minus 6. And then we're going to end up with d times d, which is d squared. Okay. Now we've got 2d times 5f. Okay, so 2d times 5f. First let's multiply the coefficients. We get 2 times 5 is 10, positive 10. And then we have a D and an F. So we just put them down, times D times F. And then finally, we have these two expressions. 
we're multiplying together. Well, these two things we're multiplying together. 2d and minus 6. So first, let's multiply these coefficients. This 2 and this minus 6. So 2 times minus 6 is minus 12. And then the pronumeral, this d, goes on the end there. So if you have a look here, we can't... We actually don't have any like terms because CD is different from D squared, is different from DF, is different from D. So we actually can't do anything further with this. Okay. Um, although, if we want it to be... Um, nah, let's actually not do that. <laughs> I was about to, to be trying to be clever, but let's, let's leave it at that. Um, I'll give you one last example here. Uh, what about we do this type of thing? Um, what about I do A times 3a plus 4 and I'm going to take this or well, I'm going to take away from this um, 2 times 4a minus 7 okay this looks pretty difficult now isn't it this is this sort of the pinnacle of algebra expressions we've had so far so we've got two sets of uh, brackets here and we're going to we're going to expand them individually and then we're going to get our answers and we're going to uh, put, put like terms in that together and simplify it. So let's do this first. So first off we have a times 3a. This is 3a squared. Okay, so 3, and then we have a times a which is a squared. The next one we have is a times 4. a times positive 4 which is positive or plus 4a. Okay. Over here, just now that's that's sorted out this brackets. We're going to go over these brackets over here now. Um, so we have 2 times 4a, or actually it's minus 2 times 4a. You've got to be careful with that a. So minus 2 times 4a, we're going to have minus 8. So we multiply these uh, coefficients first, so minus 8a. And then we have minus 2, so that was those ones. We're going to have minus 2 times minus 7 which is positive 14, because a minus times a minus is a positive number. Okay, now as you see here, we have a couple of parts here that are actually um, like terms. A couple of terms here that are, that are the same, that are like terms. Okay, so what we're going to first end up with is we're going to end up with 3a squared. This doesn't have any like terms to it, but here we have positive 4a take 8a. So 4a take 8a is minus 4a. Okay, and then last of all, we have this positive 14. So, how did you go with those? Pretty good. Hopefully, uh, you're getting the, a really good hang of these right now. Um, I'll tell you what, let's just go one last one where what we do is we actually make it a, a bit of a shape based one, just, just for the heck of it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is we'll get a triangle and we'll work out something with that. Okay, so first off, let's Here's a triangle, a nice right angle triangle here that I have, and we're going to call this this part here 8, and this one here x plus 1. So can you expand this, okay, can you make out an algebraic expression for the area? Okay, so the area of a triangle, if you're not sure, is equal to the base, which is this part here, times the height divided by 2. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So what we actually have here is we can actually halve one of these here. So we can actually halve the base here, but let's, let's leave this as it's been written. Okay, so we have the base, which is 8. Okay, times the height. Now the height here is x plus 1. So all up in the brackets we have x plus 1. We put this whole thing over 2. Now we can take this a step further, okay, because let's uh, we can expand the brackets. We can also divide this 8 by 2. So whichever one you want to do first here. Um, what about what we do is we just we get rid of this this two here. We can because this two here, two goes into this once and two goes into this four times. And now we can expand our brackets out. We have 
4x, okay, multiply those, and we also have 4 times 1, which is positive 4. So our area here is equal to 4x plus 4. Okay, and it's kind of strange when you have a look at this over here and realise that we can get a, an expression over here of what the actual uh, the area is. It's kind of cool. Let's just substitute a value in to check that. Okay, so what about we call this uh, this height here? We call this x here seven. Okay, so seven plus one is eight. Eight times eight, is sixty-four, and half of that is thirty-two. So thirty-two uh, units squared. Okay, units squared. And does this fit into our formula here? We call this uh, 7. So 7 times 4, which is 28, plus 4 equals 32 units squared. So our expression is looking pretty good there. Okay. Hopefully you're finding these okay. Um, next talk we're going to have a look at is we're going to look at where we're expanding multiple brackets together okay uh, so when we start having a look at brackets that look like this here where we get say uh, 3 uh, plus x and maybe x minus 4 okay we're going to expand these sorts of brackets in fact we'll probably write them slightly differently um, but anyway hopefully I'll see you then see you then bye